What's up Amazon sellers? Are you one of those sellers who want to sell items on Amazon with expiration dates? Or maybe you're currently selling one and this is the video for you because today I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about expiration dates and how to deal with them on Amazon. Stay tuned. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I've been selling on Amazon now for four years doing the online arbitrage method in the UK and recently also started in the USA. Now, quite simply, I post videos all the time about selling on Amazon, all the things I'm learning in my journey recently past the one million pound mark in the UK. Now, if you are interested in this kind of information and wanna learn more, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It's just gonna notify you when I release new videos, so do hit that down below. But hey, enough about me, what are we gonna go through today? Well, first things first, number one, I'm gonna talk about why managing expiration dates is important. Number two, I'll talk about what are expiration dated products. Number three, I will talk about what you need to do when selling items with your expiration dates. Number four, I'll talk about what are the other problems people are facing with expiration dates. And then finally, top tips for you this is going to really help you out so let's get started so number one let's talk about why this is important so think back maybe to your childhood perhaps there was an incident whereby in the past maybe you started to pour a glass of milk and you noticed quite simply or quite quickly should we say an awful smell coming from the spoiled milk we all know that too well and what you don't want to happen is that experience to happen for our customers with your products that is why it is important to handle your items with the expiration dates correctly now the caveat here is that it doesn't only apply Apply to milk is also a wide range of products you have to comply with Amazon's policies on expiration dates and what I'm going to do is share that with you in the next chapters so right now you might be asking the question what will happen if you send expired products into Amazon well quite simply Amazon states failure to comply may result in the removal of your listing disposal of your inventory or deactivation of your Amazon selling account that's pretty serious. Now, that being said, you don't want your account deactivated because of overlooking something like certain detail on expiration dates. Now, that is why I really recommend you guys, if you're watching this video right now, stay to the end because I'm going to be sharing with you the things that I'm doing, that you need to be doing to manage your inventories, or should say items with expiration dates. Right, quick question for you guys. Are you selling items with an expiration date? Do let me know in the comments down below. Are you selling items with an expiration date? Yes or no down below right that leads me nicely onto chapter number two what are expiration dated products well amazon considers items with an expiration date as any product with a shelf life or that loses effectiveness with time to be subject to expiration even if an expiration date is not indicated on the product packaging and to give you a more specific example the products subject to expiration dates include but are not limited to and i'll list them now one, any product that has an expiration date printed on the product or its packaging. Number two, consumable products such as, let's call it potato chips, tea leaves, nutritional supplements, whether for human or animal consumption. Number three, tropical products such as skin creams, soaps, shampoos, hairsprays, cosmetics that are intended for human or animal use. Number four, cleaning products such as disinfectant wipes, sp cleaning sprays, solutions, and even detergents. Number five, products that include components that can expire, such as, if you say, coffee, you know, a coffee machine that is sold bundled with coffee that obviously needs an expiration date. And I know that one from history. Number six, any product with a period after opening or POA symbol, and I'll share an overlay around here of what a POA symbol looks like. Now that leads me nicely on to chapter number three what you need to do when selling items with an expiration date so after distinguishing which products fall under amazon's policy on items with expiration dates in this chapter i'm going to discuss the three things first is labeling expiration dated products second is preparing expiration dated products and finally third is inventory control in amazon's fulfillment centers for inventory ex expiration dated products my god that's a mouthful so first things first i'll begin talking about the requirements on labeling expiration dated products so number one first things first all ingestible ingestible products i.e items that are consumed like food supplements including animal products 
must be clearly labeled with an expiration date or manufacturing date. Lot numbers alone are just not sufficient. Now, any expiration date on the product must be clearly labeled as an expiration date. A best buy or sell by date is considered the equivalent of an expiration date. Just keep that in mind. Now, any manufacturing date on the product must be clearly labeled as a manufacturing date and a manufacturing date is the equivalent of a production date. Now, failure to specify the manufacturing date or expiration date on a product might cause delays in receiving your products, or it may cause your products to be received as expired at the fulfillment center. We all know that's not what we want. Now, numeric date formats are preferred. However, dates with an alpha, alphabetical abbreviation to the month are also acceptable. For example, 13 slash Jan, J-A-N, dash 2022, for example. Now, what I will say is also is all medical devices must have expiration dates and they must be clearly labeled using four digit year, two digit month, two digit day. So year, 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 dash month, month, dash day, day format. For example, 2022-02-10. That's how medical devices have to be labeled. Now for products other than medical devices, acceptable date formats are also MM, month, month, day, day, four digit year, i.e. 12-31-2022, or simply month, month, year, 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 year. It starts getting complex. So think about like 11-2022. Now, for you, do not cover up the original expiration date or other information on the product packaging, such as, we say, ingredients, drug facts, next contents, or even the distributed information. Just be mindful of that. Now, in addition to meeting all the requirements above or what I just stated, all the expiration dated FBA products require an Amazon barcoded label, an Amazon barcode label. Now, you might be asking what an Amazon barcode is, a sticker which is applied to all products that are not tracked using the Amazon, or she say, using the manufacturer's barcode. That's the barcode on the product as normal. Now, if you want to know more about the Amazon barcodes and how to apply them, what I'll do is I'll drop a link above to a video I've created before about Amazon barcodes, when to use them, how to get them, and the top tips on labeling your products. Trust me, great video, it's gonna help you out. Now, what I will do now is talk about preparing expiration dated products, because my God, this is quite an in-depth subject that we should go into. So number one, first things first, what you need to do about expiration dated products is that they must be fully enclosed and sealed in packaging suitable for shipping. Really mindful of that. Number two, the second thing is to take note is that the expiration dated products require, that should say, require additional preparation such as poly bagging, bubble wrapping, etc. must have their labels with the expiration date applied to the outside of the product prep. So if you put, if you've got a product, you put poly bagging on it or even like bubble wrapping, you've now got to put another sticker on the outside of that bubble wrapping. And that's to ensure the expiration date is accessible for an Amazon associate, i.e. employee during the checking in process. Now make sure that you include the expiry date on the outside of the prepped item, because if you fail to do so, this may result in the item being relabeled at an additional cost to you. Now, after identifying the product with expiration date, labeling it and preparing them, what you also have to know is about inventory control at Amazon's fulfillment centers. Basically, products with expiration dates, as you say, are now at Amazon's warehouses, so we need to think about how they are being managed in the fulfillment centers. So once the product has arrived in the Amazon fulfillment center, Amazon monitors their shelf life to protect the customer from receiving products that are past the expiration date. Now, unsold inventory that passes its expiration date or that is close to exceeding the shelf life of the ASIN is set to unfillable or should it, unsellable status within Amazon's Seller Central. Now think about this scenario. Right now, these products are now unsellable because their dates might have been expired or obviously past their shelf life. And what you can do is have them automatically return to you by using going through your inventory settings. And what I'll do quickly now is I'll jump on a screen share with you and show you how to change the settings on your inventory to make sure you get them automatically returned when they pass that shelf life so they're not just sitting there. So let's jump on the screen share and do it now.
Okay, so here we are in Seller Central, and the first things first, what we wanna do is go up to the settings in the top right-hand corner, and then we're gonna go down to Fulfillment by Amazon. So here we go, Settings, and let's go down to the Fulfillment by Amazon, down the bottom, you can see it just there. So cool, fantastic, let's click on that. Now, what we want to do is we're gonna be wanting to scroll down until we get to what's an automated, unfillable removal setting. See right here, that's it, there we go. And then what we're gonna go across, you see it's disabled at the moment, we wanna come across to edit. And then obviously what we're gonna be able to do is to enable that and obviously create a schedule. So let's go over to edit. And we'll just go over and again, see disabled right here. Let's go over edit, fantastic. Just wait for that to load. Cool, there we go, let's click on enabled, brilliant. And then you can see here, return or dispose. Um, and what we are looking at also is enabled initially and then obviously return to dispose. And you've got the option of what you want to do. And then obviously what you can do after that is come down to the schedule. So you can obviously change the schedule, like how often you want it to happen. So um, it's gonna just speed up your process and obviously depending on how many you've got, so you can adjust that. And then finally after that, you can put email address and obviously the address coming in. And when you're done, quite simply, just click the update button and that's gonna put in there. So it's very, very simple. So once you've done this, you will now have your unsellable products automatically sent back to you which is just going to speed up your processes and make it faster now this leads me quite nicely to the next question which i'm going to ask is how do our prep center deal with items with expiration dates so since we use a prep center and if you don't know i pretty much travel the world so i'm not doing prep myself my prep center are what we did is you know they are the ones who's handling items with expiration dates on them so what we've done is we've gone to them and just asked the question about how do you handle expiration dates on items and, and they came back with the following answer saying they don't necessarily look at the expiration dates on the beauty items since beauty items are usually from the date they are opened although they do handle food items differently since they require us to have a expiry element on the portal i.e putting it in now that being the case what we can do is we are planning to discuss how we can track the items exp expiration dates more efficiently since you know it's going to add more work but we want to be making sure we're getting it right so that's something that my VA is doing to really work with my prep center to manage these inventory items a lot, lot better. Okay, so I'm talking about like expiration dates, um, managing your Amazon business inventory. There is a lot of work to an Amazon business. And you know, right now we've actually scaled to over 1 million pounds over the last 12 months, which is something that I'm really pleased about. And you know what, I managed to run this whole business in two hours a week and also from Mexico City, which is where I live right now. Now, the one thing you might be thinking about is how do I do it? Well, quite simply, I have a team of VAs, virtual assistants, in the Philippines, they do it. They run the business, we build great systems, and they make this business run, they generate the revenue and also the profits as well. So I am really blessed to work with them. And if you are thinking as well about maybe replicating what I've done and lots of other sellers as well, then what's the first thing I'd really recommend for you to do is think about getting a manual sourcing VA. Why a manual sourcing VA? Because they find deals for you, which you can resell for a profit and then obviously it brings in more profit to your business, which you can spend on other things, software, admin VAs, et cetera, et cetera. But first things first, always be growing the business. It's gonna really help you out. Now, if you are thinking about getting a manual sourcing VA, look no further than the Fast Track FBA VA Academy. This is a service I created whereby I will advertise, find, interview, we'll create the contracts, we will train for seven days a VA to work in your business, and then we will support them and you for 12 weeks to make sure that they are getting the results. And we talk through it all in the VA Academy exactly what we think a VA should be achieving and how you can do it as well and replicate my success. If you want to know how successful it's been, well, we've had over 100 clients sign up for our service in the last 18 months and we've placed over 200 VAs with those clients. So you can see people are coming back for more and more. Why? Because they just understand the value of building a team, which allows them to grow their business more efficiently. If you want to know more and you want to get a free consultation call with one of my team, have a look down below. I'll drop a link to the VA Academy where you can book in a free consultation call and see if our service is going to be right for you. Check it out. I think you're going to love it. Okay, that leads me nicely on to chapter number four. What are the other problems that people are facing with expiration dated items? So quite simply, we posted this question in our Facebook group, the Fast Track FBA Facebook group, link down below. Trust me, join it, I think you'll love it. And we asked what are the following issues we say that they had in regards to expiration dated items. One of the questions we did ask is what date do you put on or should we say put in Amazon 
and it doesn't say an expiration date on the product, but Amazon wants one. Well, the answer came back from a couple of Fast Track FBA users. Some sellers recommend checking it with the manufacturer first. So Amazon considers best buy, purchase buy, use buy, and other types of date tracking stamped on the packaging as expiration date. Now, make sure that you are using the required format year, 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 month, month, day, day, day for medical devices, and obviously month, month, day, day, year, 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 or month, month, year, year, year for other products other than medical devices. That was a really good feedback. Now also tracking products sent in with different expiration dates, i.e. the same product, but multiple shipments with different expiration dates. How do you manage that? Well, some people talked about you can set up notifications with Amazon to warn you about products getting close to your expiration date, you know, create a sale at that point, get it shifted. You know, another question was, is there a way to rotate Amazon stock so that you sell the stock with the closest expiration date first? So one of the other questions that was asked was really about, should we say, how do you track products that you send into Amazon warehouses whereby it's the same product, but they might have two different expiration date so how do you manage that ideally you want to be setting the closest expiration date first and then obviously the one with the longest date later and oh you know my god even when replenishing items around old stocks and new stocks that's you know how do you manage that well some people talked about for us and, and things that we're looking at is using multiple SKUs. so the answers that came back is to track products with different expiration dates and to know which one of your products are old they use custom SKUs or multiple SKUs. so same ASIN, just different SKUs per products. And that's certainly something that we do in our business that really helps out as well. Now, this leads me nicely onto chapter number five, top tips for you. So first things first, number one, like what I mentioned earlier, use custom multiple SKUs for items with different expiration dates. One thing that we've been doing is this, and actually we had both of the products live on Amazon at the same time. So you could see that we were on the listing twice because we had different expiration dates. Now, unfortunately, I had a few complaints from a couple of other sellers saying that we weren't allowed to do this. It was against Amazon's terms of service. So we thought, hey, you know what? Let's ask Amazon. And they basically came back and said, yes, there was no issue about that at all. And I do know other sellers who do the same process as well. But what they do is they turn off the most recent one and then turn on, keep the new, the oldest one on live. And um, I'll drop a link around here about that or an overlay of that. Now, the second top tip I'll share with you is all topical or consumable products whether it be for human or animal consumption, are considered by FBA to be subject to expiry dates, even if an expiry date is not indicated on the packaging. So you're going to have to obviously put one on there. Now for my third top tip, food and beverage products and products that are shipped with food or beverages in must be lock controlled, i.e. they have a minimum remaining shelf life that is greater than 90 days. And items within 50 days of expiry date at the time of arrival into Amazon warehouses will be marked for disposal. So just make sure of that you're not shipping in short shelf life products. Now for all other food items and beverage items with an expiry date, the remaining shelf life must be greater than 18 months at the point of receipt. So top tip there, something that you need to know. Wow, that's a lot of information. That's quite a complex thing. Now, one thing I will say is after understanding the things that you need to know or to do when selling products with an expiration date, you might also want to be thinking about upping your game in arbitrage sourcing. So what I'll do is I created a playlist called Arbitrage for Beginners, which is an amazing playlist, taking you right through from the beginning, really up to some high level sourcing techniques. And I'll drop a link to that around here. Check that out. I think you're really going to enjoy that. But what I will say is if you if you've enjoyed this video do hit the thumbs up give me a big like and hey if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button down below but for me thomas parkinson and fast track fba thank you very much